Hey guys, James here, back with another video. So today I've got a really exciting unboxing. It's of the XD Design Bobby Anti-Theft Backpack. Um, and pretty much the history is that these guys um, started a Kickstarter campaign and yeah, I backed them. I've been waiting a long time for this, about a few, five, four or five months. And you would have seen a, a recent video, which I did, of this card and pretty much um, as part of their social media campaign, they would give you this free um, RFID blocker card. Um, there was a comment on that video that I didn't actually insert a card into this, so I'll do that today. So let's just get straight into it and then we can talk about all the stuff that's inside. Now, I found this really funny. Um, at the bottom it says, please be careful um, if opening the box with a knife, do not cut the backpack. I found that so funny because at the back, it says um, it's anti-cut, which means it's like cut proof because it's supposed to be anti-theft. Um, I just thought that was hilarious um, because it's, you know, you're not supposed to be able to cut this. So it pretty much just came in the mail like this. Like it wasn't in like a special box apart from this. So obviously had some uh, run-ins with shipping. Obviously that corner was dented, but hopefully the backpack is still okay. So I got the black version, so that's it, nothing else in the box, which we'll just cut open. And then this is the backpack itself. So, um, first impressions, smaller than I expected, which is good because I was, I was a bit worried that it would be a bit too big. Um, you can see a nice XD design logo there. Um, wow, there's a lot to go through. Let's just open it up first. Why don't we just do that? So you can open it halfway or you can open it full way. So that's the one of the features. Okay, let's unclip. There's a clip here. So let's just take that off. Also, as part of their uh, kind of stretch goals, they had a few of them. So the first one, well, I don't know the specific order, but this is one of them. Um, one of them was the uh, TSA security lock. So they included that right with it. So that's really, really nice. We'll have a look at that later. This is the luggage um, scale. Um, so pretty much the way it works, you hold it and then that's how much it weighs and then you let go and then it keeps a memory of how much it weighs. So. Yeah, and then it's also a measuring tape, which is really nice as well. You have the raincoat, so it does come with like a raincoat that you can use to, to cover the whole thing. Finally, now I've got a few cards to try out. Um, this is a Club Ted card. This is like old Mikey cards and then office work. So let's just try this really thin one. Obviously fits in. Okay, let's try this Apple voucher is a hundred dollar voucher. It's actually quite thick. Um, you can see there, let's try this. Yep, yeah, that works. Now this thick Mikey card. Now if I was to ever, if I was to try to use this in this and it, it would not work. Um, but yeah, let's just try stick maybe two Mikey cards together. Let's see whether it can fit. Oh, okay. So pretty much I think the limit is just one card. So it will, this will not fit with two cards. It's like struggling. All right, looking at the top, um, there's, there's this pouch here, obviously for a laptop, and then you can use this to kind of secure that down. Nice padding from the back to the front. That's really good. Then you have a second slot. This is kind of like for your tablets, um, which I'll demonstrate later. In this front section, you have a slot. This is kind of like for like pencils, pencil cases, and then you also have this top slot as well. And then you have this slot, which I'm not sure what it's for, but pretty much it goes all the way around. Um, this is obviously for pencils. There's a lot of padding in this, by the way. And then here, it's kind of like a drink bottle kind of slot for other things as well. Now here you have um, a zip area, and this exposes, um, this cable, which can be used to plug into um, a power bank. And then if you can see here, I'll give you a closer look at that. That slot is a USB slot, which is on the outside of the backpack. So you can plug in 
and you can use your phone um, to do that stuff. So that's really nice. So you can charge while you're using the backpack as well. On this side, you've got another zip. This is kind of like a secret compartment area. This is on the outside, accessible on the outside. That's pretty much it for the inside. Now, as you can see, there's these two Velcro bits. So I'll just clip it first and then I'll show you guys. It's not the easiest thing to put back together, to be honest. Don't know why they used um, Velcro. They should have just used the zip. So obviously now um, you can see how this attaches. So this pin and the Velcro strap um, locks it at this, this degree. So this can't go further. Now it was good that they included that this block pin. I'm not sure what you call it, um, but it yeah pretty much means that it, even if the Velcro were to rip, at least this will still keep it um, intact. But if you do need to really rip it open, it will it will go. So that's really nice, good touch. Yeah. So in terms of the zip, this zip goes all the way from the bottom to the bottom. So if I go just about halfway. All right, I can just open the backpack like this without having to unzip the whole thing. But let's just close this up and then we'll look on the outside. Okay, so obviously you can see that um, this kind of wraps around the backpack and that's done intentionally. So the reason is because people, people won't be able to get into your backpack. So it's designed to be anti-theft, which means if someone's trying to like, if I'm trying to grab the backpack like this, I have to go around and then unzip the side and it's just a really awkward um, positioning and thing to do if I was trying to steal. And so that's, that's a nice design in a sense because they can't get into your backpack. Now this kind of does look like Ninja Turtle-y kind of turtle shell. I guess it is, it is part of that design. It is, it is the design. Um, this this kind of line, pretty much, yeah, this is just a reflective thing. So if you're, holding, if you're uh, carrying this backpack at night, um, or you're on a bicycle or a motorbike or something, then this is a nice reflective thing to let people know that you're there. Other features on the outside, you've got this nice handle um, which attaches the two things together. That's really nice actually. I didn't really notice this initially. Um, these two uh, zips have, a, have that lock feature. So that's where you can put your TSA security lock, which they include with it. Um, why you want to do that, I'm not sure. Uh, adjustable backpack straps. Now these are also reflective. At this this back bit has another back pocket. Um, not sure what you would put here, but you can put something there. Um, it also has uh, this. Now just trying to close that zip. This got caught on it. Now the best way to describe this is kind of like seatbelt material. This does feel pretty much the same as like what you would get in a seatbelt. Here you've got pockets that can be accessed on the outside, which we looked at before. Um, same with this. And so this is good if you want to just store money, um, that's really handy as well. And then of course you've got that USB thing, which we'll test later. Now you can see here, there's this kind of, uh, I don't know how to call it. There's like stitching here. I'm not sure how I feel about that, how that's like kind of silver on the inside. Um, I would have preferred if they just made it black, would have been nicer or some sort of darker grey. Um, not really liking that. The bottom is pretty standard. It's kind of got this waterproof material, so everything is supposed to be waterproof uh, from this side. So if you get caught in the rain, that's, that's all good. Um, yeah, but handle is pretty good quality and everything else. This is a breathable mesh, so it's a really nice um, material for that. Now it's funny because they, they have a raincoat for it. It's not, it's not fully like drench proof. Like you can't, you can't put it in like the pouring, pouring rain. But if it's like drizzling or if you spill something on it, then it's going to be good. But if you want intense, like really in the rain, then you can use this raincoat. So uh, let's just try to put this on. So it kind of follows the form of the shape. Now, if, as you can see here, I'll give you a closer look. Um, there's this kind of Velcro bit, and this kind of goes around like that, I'm assuming. And it's same for this side, so that when you 
carry it, it, it kind of has that space for that strap, which is a nice design thing. And then as you can see, it's also, this cover also has the XD Design logo on the sides. It's also got that same reflective line at the back, um, which is nice. Yeah, now can you still open it with the cover on? We'll see. I think you can. You can. And so the benefit is that this, this compartment is a separate flap from the actual body itself. So it is a little bit cumbersome though. So, but if you really needed to, you can. It's, it's different from like, I have some of the low, like I got a low pro uh, camera bag and that has a built in raincoat, but I'm not able to access the things inside uh, just because the raincoat covers the whole thing. Um, so yeah, I'll just take this off. So this is how I'm going to fold it. So it's good to have a table to fold everything out on. Yep, and then just turn it inside out. And then here's your raincoat, which you can leave inside. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate the um, charging capability of this USB port. Because my power bank is actually quite thick and it obviously won't fit in there, um, can it fit in here? I think so, yeah, it can fit in here. All right, so what I'll do is I'll plug this in. Now, the only downside is that when I wanna use it, I have to kind of unzip the whole thing. Let's just say for the sake of uh, practicality, I'm just gonna leave it um, like that, all right? Or maybe let's just say leave it at the top, okay? Uh, I'm not really happy with that either. There we go, all right. So it's like that, okay? So, the way to work, I'm just gonna leave it open. Got my Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Backpack's closed, charger's on. And, just going about my business, and then I'm like, oh, I need some juice. So plug in to the bottom, that USB port. And then, this should Begin charging. There we go. So that's charging now. So pretty nice. I mean, this does feel really nice. The USB port does feel very um, good, but this can easily come out. I mean, it doesn't have much of a grip, so. But it, it is functional. I mean, it does work um, and it's nice. You don't have to, you know, shove a big thing in your pocket. If you're Pokemon going, you can do this with Pokemon Go. And yeah, you can do that. So it does work. Um, and I think it's a nice design. I mean, it's a nice spot to put it there. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you like it. Um, I'll do another video because this video is getting a little bit long. Um, I'll do another video where I show my current backpack and all the stuff I put in there and I'm gonna try to put it into this. Um, so stay tuned for that video, but I hope you like this one. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments and I'll try to get around to answering those for you as soon as I can. Um, subscribe to see more videos like this, especially the one where I get this filled up and I'll see you guys in the next one.